All right. So I'll finish seal up my fish them already. So I'm just gonna do my steaming thing right now that I'm gonna do for them. Take out my season. Put it right there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This is my fish season. I'm gonna use to make my steaming thing to steam it down. Nice and lovely today. Alright, I just need a spoon of this oil to fry down this season first before I start. Yeah. Alright. Make my pot grease up like right, that's it. Just gonna steam my fish them in this now. Alright, nice and lovely. So I'm just putting my stuff them in the pot right now. Oh, this is all my okra and all my green stuff them that I'm gonna put in right now to do my steam fish. some garlic powder then I'm gonna add some fish season to it all right nice and lovely I'm gonna get some hot water from my kettle to put into my pot right there Kettle is already hot already, so I'm just gonna use it some hot water. Put some hot water at the kettle. Alright, to so steam down my okra and my onion and sweet pepper and ginger and garlic. Alright, so that's just making the stew now to put my fish in now. Gonna see how it come out nice and lovely when I finish. I need some pimento in it as well. Alright, make it taste the way I want it to taste, yeah? It's gonna be lovely when I'm finished with it. Nice and lovely. Up and running again, mate! Alright, this is just a little pimento powder to go. Yep. This is it now. all my stuff them in it already. Just the honey and then the ginger leaf to get into this now to make my steam fish up and running. Mmm, that tasting lovely, mate. That one is lovely tasting. Let me make you see what's going on right here, mate. That's it. It's my stew down I'm gonna make to put my fish them in. When I put them in that man, when it's finished, it's gonna taste delicious. Nice and lovely. I'm just gonna take away this cutting board and put this camera up more close so that you can see what's going on into my pot right there. Alright, so you could see what's going on in my pot now. That's it. There. Just want to close this alley here in this part right here. Alright, so I'm just leaving this now to start cook down a bit. This is my okra and everything cooking down right here. 
Yeah, that's a stew from a steam fish right there. Just have some more honey to put in it, but I'm just giving it some time. Because it's not boiling up right now, because I just threw some water in it. Alright, so that is what's going on today. So what I would like you to do is just like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And you could comment about how I do my steam and fry right now. Yeah, let's seal up my fish them before. When you do them like that, seal them up. They don't break up when you put them into the pot, yeah? This is the fish them right here. Yeah, I just seal them in the aisle, in the, some hot aisle. They taste, they have a nice taste to it when they finish. This is what I'm doing right now, Nate. I'm just waiting on my pot to boil up. When the okra and stuff start cook down a bit, then I could just add my more season to it and put in my fish them in it and let they steam down, man. They gonna taste delicious when I'm finished with it, mate. Right, it's kind of boiling up right now. Yeah, it's boiling up right now. Just want to cook down for a bit and then I could add my fish in it yeah let these up could get kind of bit cooked then I put in my fish and some more onion and things on top of it ginger and garlic that I did cut up from finish off it there are different ways you could do your stuff here yeah? depends on how you want it to be taste or how you want it to eat it you get what I'm saying when you do it like this Fish them have a nice flavor to them. Yeah. Thing is boiling down right there. Nice and lovely. So I'm just gonna add my onion then right now. And my thyme. Yeah, that's my thyme right there. I'm gonna put some onion on top of it. As those feel those fish they're easy to cook now because they seal up already so all they need now is just to go and and top and then you put some of these stuff on top of it and that's all about it and that my steam fish finish right there for the day all right that's my onion in it right now that's everything just have a cook down in one time one time it's tasting delicious mate the smell of it coming out man is just woo nice and lovely all right this is how you done it the different way you could do your steam fish Steam it, you fry it, and then you steam it down. 
Oh, so the stew is kind of a bit ready now for the fish them to get into it. To have a thing to soak down into it right now. You just put your fish in right now. Right. You let the steam down into this nice stew that I make here. Nice and lovely. Nice and lovely. Alright. When this is finished now, it's something to talk about, mate. Yeah, you just put the season them on top of it now. Alright, stir it round a bit. Rise up the season them on it now. Let the fish them go down into the pot and soak down. When this finished, brother, I will tell you how it tastes, bro. gonna be lovely today yep rise up the upper them on top of it so it could go down into the fish then now nice and decent all right that's it let it stay there and steam down now You have a taste of it to tell you how it's going, if it's going good. Mmm, that lovely with it. Oh, that pepper so tasting so good in it, bro. That pepper tasting so lovely in it. Give it a nice kick to it, you get me? All right, you just let that steam down slowly now. Turn down the fire. You don't need high fire to do this now. You just turn it down now. Get everything on a level, you just turn down the fire and let the fish steam down into it. Yeah. Nice one today, easy one, right? Yeah, you turn the stove down now on this. Let this stay there and slowly. Alright, this could take some more fish season on it to give it a hundred percent taste. Yeah, sprinkle a little more fish season on top of it now to carry everything to perfection. Alright, yeah, just some more fish season you need for everything to nice and lovely and finish up today today mate all right this is it bro this taste the smell of it alone is blowing up in the place man nice and lovely right sometimes i like to do more fish like that it tastes more have more taste to it when you do it like that i'm just gonna cover my pot now and let everything steam down right there for a moment you get me yep that's the finished product now of my Steam fish tasting nice and lovely right now. Oh my days, you could taste it now. Mm. This is something to talk about, man. It's proper season up, and everything is everything for it right now. Oh, you're not gonna run water for this, mate. Tasting so lovely when you do it like that, and just let everything steam down into the fish them right now yay it's tasting delicious mate that's it I told you it's gonna take and that's my white rice over there if you could see it in the pot over there that's my white rice that i'm gonna eat this steam fish with right now and then i'm gonna do up some green banana as well to go with it Yeah, but, 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 but
thing ready up right over there that I'm going to do the steam fish bit. And the thing is just right there, mate. Let everything steam down into the fish them right now. Yay. It's tasting delicious, mate. That's it. Told you it's gonna take and that's my white rice over there. You could see it in the pot over there. That's my white rice that I'm gonna eat this steam fish with right now. And then I'm gonna do up some green banana as well to go with it. Up and running again once more. Welcome again to the Candyman Sweet Vlog once more. Well, today I'm gonna do some steam fish, yeah? I'm gonna brown stew it down, steam it, and then I brown stew it down. Yeah, this is the season I'm cutting up right now to get on my steam fish, yeah? Nice and lovely. Yeah, that's a bit of ginger and garlic, and I've got my cayenne pepper right here, well hat to go into my steam fish, yeah? I'm just gonna dice it up like that. Nice and lovely, I love my pepper in my food, yeah? Pepper in my fish, can't eat my fish without pepper. Have to have pepper in it. Hot pepper. Alright. This is how it goes today. I'm just gonna seal my fish them right now. Because I love to seal them when I'm steaming them. Yeah, I seal them sometimes when I'm doing it. You get what I'm saying? Not all the while I do it, but some of the time I seal them. So this is what I'm going to do today. fish them that I'm gonna use the steam. I just seal them first in the hot aisle and then yeah I don't want them mashed up when time they're steaming down so I'll just seal them in the aisle first not cooking them I just seal them like okay Alright. 
It's a different way you could do your fish when you're steaming it. If you want it to taste nice and lovely when you finish with it, you seal it up in the oil first before you put it into the pan to steam it down. Right. You're not frying it dry, dry. You're just letting it catch, seal the meat as it stay together. But when you steam this, it's gonna be lovely. Yeah. Well tasty and nice when it finish up. You get me? Sometimes you steam these fish, they always fall apart and mashed up. To let them stay in one pieces, you just seal them in the oil first. And then you take them out and do your steam fish with them. It's lovely, mate. Sealing the meat, that's the meat stick together. Nice and lovely. And I've got my stuff over here that I'm gonna put into my steam fishes. This is my season right here. That I'm cutting up right here. And I've got my okra over there in that bowl over there. I've got okra and some carrot and I just need some pimento right now and some thyme. Then I'm gonna put with it. Alright, some thyme gonna go into it. And I'm going to get some pimento seed in a bit to put with my, my steam fish right there. This is my pimento. Alright. Yeah, this is nice and lovely now. Take this one out. Just rest it right there because I don't want them to fry. I just need to see the meat. So, this is good enough. Yeah, but this one right there. Right, the sealing up nice. Yep. Yep. I'm a bit white, so I'm just going to keep it in there for a little while to seal it up some more. When you steam this fish now, it's gonna taste lovely. Yeah, but, but, but I've got all my thing ready up right over there that I'm gonna do the steam fish with. Everything is just right there, mate. right over there that I'm gonna do the steam fish bit. Everything is just right there mate. Let everything steam down into the fish them right now. Yay! It's tasting delicious mate. That's it. So will you it's gonna take and that's my white rice over there. You could see it in the pot over there. That's my white rice that I'm gonna eat this steam fish with right now. And then I'm gonna do up some green banana as well to go with it. Up and running again once more. Welcome again to the Candyman Sweet Vlog once more. Well, today. 
I'm gonna do some steam fish, yeah? Then I'm gonna brown stew it down. Steam it. And then I brown stew it down. Yeah, this is the season I'm cutting up right now to get on my steam fish, yeah? Nice and lovely. Yeah, that's a bit of ginger and garlic. And I've got my cayenne pepper right here, well hot, to go into my steam fish, yeah? I'm just going to dice it up like that. Nice and lovely. I love my pepper in my food, yeah? Pepper in my fish. Can't eat my fish without pepper. Have to have pepper in it. Hot pepper. Alright. This is how it goes today. I'm just going to seal my fish them right now. Because I love to seal them when I'm steaming them. Yeah, I seal them sometimes when I'm doing it. You get what I'm saying? Not all the while I do it, but some of the time I seal them. So this is what I'm going to do today. Sealing up my fish them that I'm gonna use the steam. I just seal them first in the hot oil and then yeah I don't want them mashed up when time they're steaming down so I'll just seal them in the oil first not cooking them I just seal them like Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna seal them. and see what I want it to be. So I'm just going to take it out. As well as steam it down, it doesn't mash it up in it. So I just let it go in the hot iron first and seal it up. Yeah? And seal them up. Alright. There's a different way you could do your fish when you're steaming it. If you want it to taste nice and lovely when you finish with it, you seal it up in the oil first before you put it into the pan to steam it down. Right. You're not frying it dry, dry. You're just letting it catch, seal the meat that's it stay together. But when you steam this, it's going to be lovely. Yeah. Well tasty and nice when it finished up, you get me? But sometimes you steam these fish, they always fall apart and mashed up. To let them stay in one pieces, 
you just seal them in the hand first and then you take them out and do your steam fish with them it's lovely mate That's the meat stay together. Nice and lovely. And I've got my stuff over here that I'm gonna put into my steam fishes. This is my season right here. That I'm cutting up right here. And I've got my okra over there in that bowl over there. I've got okra and some carrot and I just need some pimento right now and some thyme I'm gonna put with it alright some thyme gonna go into it and I'm gonna get some pimento seed in a bit to put with my in my steam fish right here is my pimento alright yeah this is nice and lovely now take this one out just rest it right there because I don't want them to fry I just need to see the meat so is good enough. So I'm at this one right there. Alright, the ceiling up nice. Yep. Yep. And a bit white, so I'm just gonna keep it in there for a little while to seal it up some more. When you steam this fish now, it's gonna taste lovely. ready up right over there that I'm gonna do the steam fish with everything is just right there mate 